Hey guys, what's up? I'm back, and today I got another story. Uh, this is about the time, the one and the only time that I'll ever have gone skiing in my life. I've been rollerblading. I hated rollerblading. I've been skiing. I hate skiing. I've been. I've never been ice skating though. And I'll never go ice skating because it's just like rollerblading and stuff. Because like I always fall down. Like I always step. I when I go rollerblading, I always just like get on the get on them, and as soon as I step onto where like the rink or the blading place or whatever. I always just fall. Like, that's not fun at all. I don't want this fall. But anyway, um, so today I got another story. This is about time only time one skiing. I think this is about third or fourth grade. Um, we went on this ski trip day trip that they were having, that they were hosting. They I think they do this every year now, but they were doing this and um so we decided to go on, and I thought, okay, you know, this was like I think it was like early March that this was going on because we still have, we still have snow here in early March. You know, people, most some people don't. We do, um, because winters are long here, long and hard and tough and everything else. So I mean, that's really that really sucks. But, um, but anyway, so um, we get there right. So this is about like you know the time. If you are a skier. Maybe you don't have so much, you have to be really like experienced, or maybe I just have to learn, but this day and experience and just like the not fun I had for the most part will be the reason why I never go skiing again. Um, and it's probably for the better. But we get there, right? We get there. And, um, and I don't know, I mean, it was just like, okay. I mean, it was there, and we got there, and we hang out in the lodge for a while, and meet up with people, and then eventually we went to this other building, and we got our shoes and our skis, and these boot things were, and I don't know about these boot things, but, like, they were so, so, they were so tight, like, it seems like whenever I get, it seems like whenever I get, like, shoes or boots from a different place that I need to wear for something, such as, like, skiing or something, they're always too tight. Even if I order two sizes too big, they're still going to be too tight in my feet. And the worst part was, is like when I, when, when shoes are a little small, I like to move my toes around to try and like wiggle and trying to get room so that I don't feel, so that I don't feel so cramped and then I don't really care about it. Um, but you couldn't do that with these because they were like lead. They were so solid and they were so hard. And I don't know why they were like that, but... It, it was horrible. I mean, I hated that. I hated those shoes. But eventually, I got over the shoes. And the shoes weren't really the worst part. Um, by far, they were not the worst part at all. Um, let me move this right here, actually, for better audio. Anyway, so um, we get there, right? And um, so then we get our skis. And the skis were horrible. Um, I hated the skis because you get the shoes. The reason the shoes are like that because they have these little things on the bottom of them, and so and they and they make it really hard to walk around in them comfortably at least. So, but the reason for that is that you lock the boots into the skis so you don't fall off, and that's a very innovative idea, I guess. I mean, that's a pretty pretty smart idea on their part. Um. So we locked into the, so like we, but we, so I just held the skis. And I also got these pair of sticks. I got these pair of sticks to go along with my skis. I don't know, I don't think, every, no, I don't think everybody got those. No, everybody didn't get those. Um, for some reason, I got them, though. And I was so glad I had them because I thought I was going to be used as extra balance. And I was really glad when I had them because I knew that they were going to need extra balance. Because when we first got onto the skis and I started you know, walking and stuff, like, it was so hard to walk in these things. Because they're like, a, they're like a foot behind me and a foot in front of me. And, like, I'm spread out. They're not together. So, like, I can't just, like, ski, like go like this up the hill. I have to actually try and, like, walk. And then what was happening was... What was happening was the skis were parting this way out to the front so that I, my legs that so that I would fall down and do the splits every time I tried to ski for some reason. It was hard. It was weird. Luckily, I had those sticks and they were good support so that the parting thing wouldn't happen. Um, but yeah, the ski resort wasn't that large. It had like a small bunny hill for little kids for training. 
Uh, I had the lodge. I had that little house thing. I had another building. I don't know what it was. We never went in it. Um, I think it was maybe like a hangout place or something. Then they had the big hill. Then they had the big hill. And they had like a medium-sized hill as well. And they also had a big hill um, with the ski lift and everything. I think it might have had more than one of those. Um, but the, I only saw one of them. Um, but, I mean, it was good for a day thing for, you know, kids at our elementary school at the time. So, but anyway, um, we don't go on the bunny hill. The first thing that me and my brother do, and I think a few other people did, is we went to the medium hill for some training on how to ski because we'd never skied in our life before. We didn't know what we were doing. We just wanted to go. We didn't want to just go on a big hill and then crash and hurt ourselves or something. I have an accident story, though, an accident that uh, I was involved in that I'll uh, get to later. But anyway, so this um, so we get up there, right? And there's two people teaching the class, and there's like like eight or nine other people up there, well, me and my brother. And um, the first thing that she does before she starts a lesson is she takes the pole things away from me, the stick things. She takes them away because I'm the only one that has them up there. I'm the only one that has those. So she takes them and uses them as markers. Like really, lady? I didn't fight back or anything because I didn't want to like cause a scene or anything, but like. She took, she took my sense of balance away. And I was so pissed, man. I was so pissed that that happened because, because it was a nightmare. I remember, I don't remember actually much from it. I do remember that I got through it. And eventually, at the end of the lesson, like an hour later, I finally get my sticks back after they almost forgot about them. And I didn't, I didn't ask them and to get them back. I just politely just went along with my day. But they Almost forgot about them. Finally remember them. And now, here we go. So now, I get the sticks back. And we go down this medium-sized hill. It's not as so big as the bunny hill, but it's not really that big either. We go down this large hill. And I'm like, yeah, I can go. And I can fly. You know, I can turn this day around. And I can fly down this hill and show off everybody my speed and my skill. You know, I learned everything in this training. You know, it's going to be great. But no. No. We weren't allowed to do that. We had to go literally one foot and then break. And how you break in skiing is you gotta like bring that you go down and then you like do that and they come together like that. We'll try to, you know, cause resistance and stuff. So we had to do that. We had to do that all the way down the hill. All the way down the hill. We had to do that all the way down the hill. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It was so stupid, okay? So we find I finally decided, like, at the last, like, quarter of the hill that I'm just going to, I'm just going to barrel down anyways. I don't care. Um, so I finally get down the hill, and I'm free. I'm free from this lady's custody for the rest of the day, and I'm so happy because I hated that lesson so much. Um, then, uh, after that, we're free to do whatever we want, so, um... I decided not to ski after that because I hated those skis. And I, I just took the skis off and I just stood around with them in my hand forever. Um, and eventually I catch up with my friend Eli. Um, and we go to this like this little dip. It's not, it's not like an official like hill or hill or like lift or anything. It's just a little dip in the ground near the lodge. Um, and we just go around there. And he has a great idea of skiing down it and trying to jump off because there was enough where you could just get like a ramp off a little bit, you know. Um, so I had the great idea, a stupid idea, of putting my skis back on and trying to go down that little hill. What happens is the same thing that I had taken my skis off for, the parting of a way. It hurt. Like every time I did it, it hurt. Because the body is not supposed, the legs are not supposed to go like this, out like frontwards. They're supposed to go like like, you're not supposed to bend your legs, like, in your kneeling position, and then do the splits like that. Especially on skis, it hurt. It hurt really bad. So I somehow get up. Uh, either I think I either took my skis off and then stood up, or I got people to help me up. I think I wanted people to help me up, because I didn't want to take my skis off like that, because it was hard to do that. But I eventually just had to, because nobody could get me up. Like, it, like, I would just keep sliding. It would be almost nearly impossible to get me up unless I was on a hard surface. And, of course, runs, no. Um, because we're skiing, obviously. Um, oops, sorry. Um, but yeah. And then after that, um, I took my skis off and I never put them back on. Um, we just played around 
in the snow a little bit, made some, let him into a little snow fort, uh, just hung out and talked. That was, that was the most fun part of the day. It was actually, that's sad though. That's so, that's sad when you go to a ski resort and your least, when your most favorite part is making a snow fort with your friend in a little divot in a, near, near an electrical pole. That's sad. But it was fun. I mean, I had a good time. We talked and we had a fun time. Um, and eventually, we turned everything back in. I put my nice, comfortable shoes back on. And I realized how much my feet were screwed up from that day because those boots screwed up my feet. It was the last time I would screw up my feet that bad because of, you know, over-exercising or something or wearing the wrong footing. But it was the first. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, that's really all you can say. And I eventually healed. And I've never been back skiing again, even though I've had a couple of chances to. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. That is a story. I got a couple other stories I'm going to tell. One of them is a near-death experience, and another one's a big accident that I was involved in. Um, so look out for those. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.